Dear congregation, today let us delve into the profound truth of God's closeness and presence in our lives. In a world filled with distractions and noise, it's essential to recognize and embrace the intimacy we can experience with our Heavenly Father. As we explore this theme, may our hearts be stirred to draw nearer to Him and experience the fullness of His love and presence. God's Promise of Nearness James 4, 8 Come near to God, and He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. God's Word assures us of His willingness to draw near to those who seek Him. The invitation to come near is extended to each of us, regardless of our past or present circumstances. As we respond to His call and purify our hearts, we open the door to experiencing the profound closeness of our Creator, the presence of God in Scripture. Psalm 145, 18 The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. Throughout Scripture, we find accounts of individuals encountering the tangible presence of God. From Moses at the burning bush to Elijah on Mount Carmel, God's closeness is vividly depicted. These accounts serve as reminders that God is not distant or aloof, but intimately involved in the lives of His people, cultivating intimacy through prayer. Philippians 4, 6, 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer is the gateway to intimacy with God. Through heartfelt communion with Him, we express our deepest desires, fears, and joys. In the quiet moments of prayer, we encounter the peace that surpasses all understanding, drawing us closer to the One who holds all things in His hands. Dwelling in His Word, Psalm 119, Mah 105. Your Word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. The Word of God serves as a lamp to guide our steps and a light to illuminate our path. As we immerse ourselves in Scripture, we discover the character of God and His unending love for us. Through the study of His Word, we draw closer to His heart and gain wisdom for navigating life's challenges, surrendering to His will. Romans 12, 1, 2 Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. True intimacy with God requires surrendering our will to His. As we yield to His plan and purpose for our lives, we align ourselves with His divine guidance and experience the fullness of His presence. Surrender is not a one-time event, but a daily practice of yielding our lives to His Lordship, recognizing His presence in everyday moments. Psalm 16, um, Seven. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. God's presence is not confined to sacred spaces or specific times of prayer. He reveals himself to us in the ordinary moments of life, through the beauty of nature, the kindness of a stranger, and the warmth of a loved one's embrace. By opening our eyes and hearts to his presence in the everyday, we cultivate a deeper awareness of his closeness resting in his assurance. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In times of uncertainty and adversity, God assures us of his constant presence and unwavering support. Resting in his promises, we find peace amidst life storms and confidence to face whatever challenges may come our way. His presence is our refuge and strength, a source of comfort and assurance in every season of life. Embracing His love and grace. Romans 8, 38, 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The ultimate expression of God's closeness is found in His boundless love and grace toward us 
Despite our shortcomings and failures, he remained steadfast in his affection for us, never wavering in his commitment to walk alongside us. As we embrace his love and grace, we experience the fullness of his presence and find rest for our weary souls, sharing his presence with others. Matthew 5.16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just as God draws near to us, He calls us to extend His presence to those around us. Through acts of kindness, compassion, and love, we become vessels of His light in a world filled with darkness. By sharing His presence with others, we not only reflect His character, but also lead others into a deeper understanding of His love and grace. Committing to a life of intimacy. James 4, 8. Come near to God and He will come near to you, surrendering to His will. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. True intimacy with God is marked by a willingness to surrender our own plans and desires to His will. As we yield our lives to Him, we open ourselves to His guidance, direction, and provision. Surrendering to His will requires humility and trust, acknowledging that His ways are higher than ours and His plans are always for our ultimate good. Cultivating a Heart of Gratitude 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is a powerful expression of our closeness to God. When we cultivate a heart of gratitude, we acknowledge His presence and provision in every aspect of our lives. Even in the midst of trials and challenges, we can find reasons to give thanks, knowing that God is with us and working all things together for our good. Pursuing Intentional Fellowship Hebrews 10, 24, 25 And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Intimacy with God is deepened through intentional fellowship with other believers. As we gather together in worship, prayer, and study of God's Word, we encourage and strengthen one another in our faith journeys. In the community of believers, we experience the tangible presence of God as we seek Him together and support each other in our walk with Him. Dear brothers and sisters, may the pursuit of intimacy with God be the defining characteristic of our lives. As we seek His presence, may we surrender to His will, cultivate hearts of gratitude, and pursue intentional fellowship with one another. And in our journey of drawing near to God, may His closeness bring us comfort, joy, and a deeper understanding of His unfailing love. Let us go forth from this place with hearts filled with the assurance of God's abiding presence, trusting that He is with us every step of the way. May we live each day in the reality of His closeness, shining His light in a world that desperately needs to experience His love. Amen. Please like and subscribe to make each day biblical.